deeper. Even though I hate winter, I love this bundle up type of weather. You know, where you you feel toasty warm and you like toasty warm clothes. I actually woke up quite early this morning at 6 o'clock. Got up, did my stretches. Oh, had my breakfast. Well, that's where I ran into trouble. I had my breakfast. And at the end of it, when I was finishing reading the uh, comics, at the cat cuddled up in my lap, purring away, being very warm. When all of a sudden I woke up, you know, slouched over <laughs> my empty bowl, I realized I'd fallen asleep over the newspaper. So I moved into the living room. It was nice and dark. Found my favorite chair. Curled up with a cat in my lap. And had a, oh, you know, like a three hour nap. It can't have been three hours, but no, I got, I got up at six and had breakfast, right? So maybe a two hour sort of nap. And it says on the weather forecast that I get every day that it's supposed to be minus three this morning. And what is it? It's minus five. Minus five with the sun up now at nine. And so what was it this morning when I got up? I suppose it was minus. Nope, the, the lowest they say is minus of course, they say minus five right there. Duh. It's supposed to be this cold. So the only thing I like about this weather is the fact that you can feel cozy warm. So I mentioned to my supervisor yesterday when I saw her how much stress these observations give everyone. And she's like, oh no, I don't want to cause anyone stress. And the fact is, it's just unavoidable. If you're going to observe someone, even though she's so laid back and so nice about it, person is going to get nervous. It just happens. Mm. I would rather have flat hair. Sometimes. So. I'm sure I had lots of things to say. The walls are going up in the room. It's going to be closed in shortly this weekend. And my beautiful bathroom is coming into, well, it's coming into being, yes. It's coming into being. And it's always changing, it's changing as it goes. But 
and the grid. It'll be really, really nice. Yes, okay, well, I just thought I'd update you. I've got work to do this weekend. And if I have done, I'll get back to you. Actually, it shouldn't be that bad because I have my students doing presentations on Monday. Everyone is doing a presentation on Monday, so depending on who shows up, Monday will be taken up. But again, I don't know who is going to show up. So, is Monday going to be full of presentations, or is it going to be a few presentations and the rest, you know, empty? So I have to be prepared. I have to be prepared, and I have lots of, you know, reviewed it that I didn't get to last week, so if they're not going to be talking, I'm going to be grammaring them. Is that a threat? Damn right. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'll try to keep awake this time and not fall asleep over my car.